watching the night sky, not a view from a telescope, just a close reminder that we sit on a planet in a universe. We're suddenly aware of bright colours. Initially, you think it was like very large fireworks, and it became self-evident it was something pretty large breaking up in the atmosphere. There was hardly a corner of the country where someone didn't look up and catch a glimpse. It was like Independence Day. It must have been 10 or 15 huge pieces. I thought it was a plane at first. It was quite low on the horizon and moving much slower than I'd expect to see a shooting star. It was amazing. There is a chance this is space rock, but experts say its speed suggests a different explanation. It could in fact have started life here on Earth, a piece of man-made space debris making a return journey. So it races in, it's moving, at, you know, if it's a chunk of something this sort of size, it comes in at 18,000 miles an hour, there's a huge amount of energy in that sort of thing, crashes into the atmosphere, starts to fall apart, starts to burn up and leaves this spectacular trail. Small fragments disintegrating are not going to keep anyone awake at night with worry, but the spectacle they create has been well worth staying up for. This is an old rifle range at the Astrium plant in Stevenage, and they're working on the growing problem of what's called space junk. The thousands of old satellites and rockets in orbit around the Earth and posing a serious risk of collision with the satellites that we all depend on. Now, one option for getting rid of this stuff is to use a system of a kind of harpoon that would trap the junk and send it back down to Earth. And one of the engineers here, Jamie Reed, is about to see if this system could ever work in practice. And this is what they've been firing at, the kind of aluminium structure, incredibly strong and light, that most satellites are made of. You can see that the harpoon has been making it through and with these barbs would be able to lock on. The trick is not to use too much power. Otherwise, the satellite or the old rocket could be blown apart, which would create even more junk. The hope is that techniques like this might start to clear up the great mess in space. <laughs>